guys, it's Tomo again, and today I am going to be unboxing a new graphics card that I've bought. Now a lot of you have seen a video I put up on YouTube in 2015 of an ultra cheap uh, gaming PC build. Well this graphics card is actually going to go in there, uh, and hopefully it's going to give it a boost in performance. So the card I've gone for is a Gigabyte NVIDIA GTX 750 Ti, 2GB obviously low profile for the case so here we go we'll get it open wow how exciting okay so this is the card oh it's the overclock version as well fantastic so whip open the box we'll have a look see what we get inside Well, first things first, we obviously get the card. So I'll just open it up. Oh, very nice. Very uh, compact. Ooh, they've even put plastic over the, uh, the parts. Very handy and probably very wasteful. Okay, so what have we got on the back there? We've got two HDMI, one display port, and one DVI connection. Now at the moment, that's not going to fit in my case, because this is far too tall. So we'll see what else we've got in the box. Oh, that's a good sign. <laughs> Move the box, and we have oh a driver CD, very good, and Gigabyte Overclock Guru, GeForce Experience, Google Utilities, DirectX 9, and User Manual. Great fun. And then we've got a quick guide, so I don't think we really need to read this. And this is what we need. We need to put this back plate onto the card so that it fits in my case. Hmm. I'll just take all this plastic crap off. And I'll go get some tools and I'll come back in a minute. Okay, so I am back and I have two tools. I first have this hex screwdriver. I don't know if you can see that. That's going to get gripped nicely around that. And just a normal small crosshead or Phillips screwdriver is also known. So without further ado, we'll take the back plate off the card. Oh, it's stuck. Urgh. Yeah. I don't think that's coming off very easily. Back in a minute. Okay, so I'm just taking the last screw off the back plate. So there we go. We now have the card with no back plate. So swap that out. That's not right. Put it on that way. And we'll do the same in reverse. So I'll start with the DVI part. These screwdrivers are quite good. I bought them from Poundland. Um, I got a set of about 30 of them for a pound, obviously. So two screws that go to the HDMI just above the HDMI ports are slightly bigger just don't get them wrong if you do this you don't want to put a hole too big next to the display port there we go and the last screw Nearly there. Okay, I'll get that in. Let's try 
again. Ha -ha. Over there. So there we go. The card is now set up for my low profile case. So I'm just going to pop back in a minute with my computer so that I can fit the card in there and show you how to do that. Back in a moment. Right, okay, so I've got the PC now. So I'm just going to dismantle this. So there's actually, I'll just tip this down. There's a little notch here which you can pull and that will open the side panel, which is what I need to do. It should just drop out. So down here, we've got my R7 240. So pretty straightforward. I'm just going to press the notch behind it that's keeping it in. Eventually. Um, nope, that's not happening. Oh, what a mess. There we go. Out with the old. In with the new, much more powerful card. So, ooh, we've even got a protector on the edge of the circuit board. So this simply... Oh dear. It doesn't fit. Right guys, this is not quite as straightforward an upgrade as I initially thought, uh, simply because, let's see what happens when we try and put it in the PC. So if I line the slot up, you will see, I just have to bring it around the back, oh dear, there's, hmm, not good. So the DVI protrudes into the side of the case, but if you look, the rest of it is actually flat. So what I'm going to do, well you'll already see, I've taken out one of the screws from the DVI slot. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to modify the case. So I'm going to take out a small portion of it so that the DVI slot can stick out. So. I'll just go back to my toolbox, just be back in a moment. Okay, so as I say, gentlemen, choose your weapons. This is what I'm going to be using. Just have to bear with me with the crude light in here. I have literally just put the uh, flash on permanently on my camera. So I'll just get it lined up so I can see where I need to cut. Okay, so it just fits almost perfectly in that first section of the grid we we'll call it so I can actually take this out at least I think I can yeah so I'll just move that along a little bit then we're literally gonna just get it into shot oh, not enough space literally gonna through yeah. Come on. Don't let me down. Ah, it's let me down. No, it hasn't. It's worked. And same again. Next notch along. And again. So that's three lovely little sections we've cut out there. And then we need to go across the other way. Along the top and along the bottom. Hmm, not even getting through all this. And then same again at the other side. There's number two. The last one, number three. Okay, that should push out, but no, it doesn't. Gonna have to 
work on these edge bits a little bit more. There, that one went. And final one. There we go. Lovely. Almost looks deliberate. Should probably sand these down because they're quite sharp, but nah, it'd be alright. No one's going to stick the fingers in there. Okay, so pull the PC back round. Hopefully, you've got a fairly sensible view there. I will move it around in a moment. Okay, so I'm just going to try and slot this back in. There we go. So now we've got a little gap where we can stick the trusty old DVI. Don't forget to take this screw out because otherwise it won't fit. So this is going to be a bit messy. I'm going to have to try and fit this on. And it doesn't quite fit. If you can see that. Nope, doesn't quite go through the gap, so I'm going to have to chop a little bit more out somehow. After much battling with these, I've, uh, I've actually cut out much further round, and there's actually a gap now in the, the piece of the case that I've modified. If you're going to embark on this, then make sure you do yourself a favour and invest in one of these. A junior hacksaw, but don't do what I've done and run out of blades. That does not help at all. So yep, I literally plugged away at that for about 25 minutes with these. Not good. Anyway, we're going to try and fit the card back in the case again. So, back in a sec. I've actually encountered another problem. This little notch on the case here if you can see that is actually getting stuck on where the back blanking plate where the DVI slot is so I'm actually gonna have to chop this out as well it doesn't really serve much of a purpose other than to hold this bit of whatever it is on so I'll just get my uh, wonderful tools again and chop that away so it's hitting down on this part of the case here and it's not able to reach the bottom which is holding the card back from going into the PCI Express slot which is where we need it to go so what I'm going to do um, rather than trying to modify the motherboard I'm actually going to chop down the graphics card so I'm just going to do that now and again I'm just going to use this and I'm just going to chop off the bottom flat bit that would normally clip into the chassis like that so alright guys after much battling with my lovely tools um, this is what I ended up with so I've ended up chopping quite a lot off the bottom of the card you also notice as well I've actually secured the DVI port um, to the back plate with some screws uh, simply to give the card a bit more stability as it was wobbling about a little bit because it was only held on the um, these three screws here. So what I'll do now, I will single handedly try and get the card in. So like I was saying before, I've attached it to the chassis just to make it a little bit easier to get in. So let's have a look if we come around here. That's not going to work. So far so good. So I'll just way so you can see and I'll just secure the card into the PCI Express like if you can see it's a bit it's put the camera in the way <laughs> right up so that is almost in <laughs> right I'm just gonna put the camera on the stand I can't really do anything one moment. Okay, camera's on a stand now, so I look. Two hands, woohoo! Right, so I'll just push the graphics card into the PCI Express slot. And was that a magic click I heard? Yes, it was. 
Yes, it was. So I'll just have a quick look, make sure that's nice and snug. Can't really see anything there, but it looks pretty much okay. So let's have a look at the back, see what that looks like. There we go. Fantastic. You could potentially use that DVI port, but uh, don't think I would be doing that. So, with that in place, it's time for me to put the case back together and hopefully this will be up and running. Let's give it a couple more checks just to make sure it's well and truly secure. And it's looking good. It's not moving about too much. guys here's a PC you can't really see it because there's not much light um, but you'll be able to see what happens when I switch it on in a moment okay so no error messages and woohoo we've booted to BIOS okay ooh who's that oh it's me right so it's booted into Windows fine so I'm just gonna update the drivers and then I'll show you some gameplay. <laughs> 